Chapter 7, Airway Management. Welcome to the Mouth-to-Mouth -mouth Rescue Breathing. In this video, we will discuss mouth-to-mouth -mouth rescue breathing for adults and children and mouth-to-mouth -mouth nose rescue breathing for infants. Until an advanced airway is available, you should use mouth-to-mouth, mouth-to-mask, or bag mask ventilation. Oftentimes, a pocket mask or bag mask is not available at the scene of an accident. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth rescue breathing is effective in delivering oxygen into the individual's lungs. Now let's review mouth-to-mouth -mouth rescue breathing for adults and children. First, open the airway using the head lift, chin lift maneuver. Pinch the nose shut to prevent air from escaping when delivering breaths. Create a seal with your lips around the individual's mouth. Blow into the individual's mouth and watch the chest. If the chest doesn't rise, you may need to retilt the head or unblock the airway. Give an additional breath. Make sure the breaths are duration of a full second. If the chest doesn't rise in two breaths, continue giving chest compressions. Now let's review mouth-to-mouth -mouth nose ventilation for infants. First, open the infant's airways using the head tilt chin lift maneuver. Be sure not to hyperextend the neck. Then create a seal with your lips around the infant's mouth and nose. Deliver the breath and watch the chest rise. Keep in mind that an infant's lungs are smaller than an adult and need a smaller volume of air. If the chest does not rise, readjust the tilt of the head. Then deliver the second breath and watch the chest to rise. If you are unable to cover both the infant's mouth and the nose entirely with your mouth, then pinch the nose closed and then deliver the breaths into the infant's mouth. If the chest does not rise, readjust the tilt of the head. Give an additional breath and watch for the chest to rise. This concludes our lesson on mouth-to-mouth -mouth rescue breathing. Next, we will review rescue breathing.